AI, AI, AI. It is sure that you would have heard this term in your everyday use. But what is predictive AI? In today's video, we will be exploring the domain of predictive artificial intelligence and how it is transforming our daily surroundings. Let's get started. Predictive AI is the process of using data to forecast future outcomes. Predictive analytic uses data analysis, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and statistical models to find patterns that might predict future behavior. Let's take an example. The Wies Institute of Harvard University worked on a project, Abby, to develop a sensor called Abby Sense to predict signs of medical condition called anaphylaxis, which is a severe and potentially life-threatening reaction to trigger such as an allergy faster than a human. The algorithm can predict reaction severity, alert the individual and the caregivers, and also automatically inject epinephrine when necessary. The technology's ability to predict the reaction at a faster speed than manual detection could save lives. There are three main types of techniques used for predictive analytics. First, regression analysis. Second, decision tree. Third, neural networks. Predictive analytics can be used to streamline operations, boost revenue, and mitigate risk for almost any business or industry. This includes banking, retail, utilities, public sector, healthcare, and manufacturing and areas such as fraud detection, customer segmentation, conversion, and purchase prediction, as well as risk reduction, operational improvement, and maintenance forecasting. One of the real-life examples of predictive analytics is in marketing, and it can be seen through the acquisition of predictive analytics companies Zodiac and Select in 2018 and 2019, which enabled companies like Nike to analyze data from apps and IoT devices such as Fitbits, enhancing their understanding of customer habits and their purchasing behaviors. Now, this data has been said to be used to personalize content and also for recommending features and products in Nike's apps and also improve inventory management and strengthen Nike's direct-to-customer initiatives. Let's take another example. In 2022 annual risk review of HSBC, which is a British universal bank and financial services group, they mentioned that we continue to develop our fraud controls and invest in capabilities to fight financial crime through application of advanced analytics and artificial intelligence. HSBC utilizes its own AI-based tool for data analytics, marketedly improving their detection of suspicious activities. It is stated to double the detection of speed compared to former methods and cutting down the volume of cases by 60%. Another example, PepsiCo. PepsiCo utilizes a sophisticated predictive analytics tool called PepWiz, a unique blend of data, analytics, and industry expertise specifically designed to empower PepsiCo's frontline sales teams. What exactly does PepWiz do? It tracks current consumer trends and forecasts future demands. This predictive capability enables PepsiCo to understand which products should be on the store shelves in the upcoming period. Amazon, you must have heard this name. Amazon uses predictive analytics to master its supply chain management by scrutinizing historical sales, customer behaviors, and external influences like seasonality, they adeptly forecast product demand. This insight helps maintain optimal inventory, balance the availability of in-demand items with minimal surplus. Continuing on the same trend, Amazon's analysis of shipping logistics and customers' geographic informs smart decisions on inventory distribution and transportation. The outcome is quicker deliveries, 
heightened customer satisfaction and lower operational expenses. Now, data scientists use predictive models to identify correlations between different elements in selected data sets. Once the data collection is complete, a statistical model is formulated, trained, and modified to generate predictions. The workflow for building predictive analytics framework follows five basic steps. Number one, we define the problem. A prediction starts with a good thesis and a set of requirements. For instance, can a predictive analytics model detect fraud, determine optimal inventory levels for the holiday shopping season, can it identify potential flood levels from severe weather, and can a distinct problem so will help determine what method of predictive analytics should be used. Second step, organize and acquire data. An organization may have decades of data to draw upon or continually flood of data from customer interactions. Before predictive analytics models can be developed, data flows must be identified and then data sets can be organized in a repository such as a data warehouse like BigQuery. Third step, pre-process data. Raw data is only nominally useful by itself. To prepare the data for predictive analytic models, it should be cleaned up to remove anomalies, missing data points, or extreme outliers, any of which might be the result of input or measurement errors. Number four, develop predictive models. Data scientists have a variety of tools and techniques to develop predictive models depending on the problem to be solved and the nature of the data set. Machine learning, regression models, decision trees, they are some of the most common types of predictive models. And number five, validate and deploy results. Check on the accuracy of the model and adjust accordingly. Once acceptable results have been achieved, make them available to stakeholders via an app, website, or a data dashboard. Now Google provides tools like Vertex AI, AutoML, Cloud AI Building Blocks, BigQuery, BigQuery ML, Marketing Analytics, Data Science, Business Intelligence Solutions, and Data Warehousing Modernization, etc. From Amazon's recommendation engine to Uber's dynamic pricing, these applications showcase the incredible impact predictive analytics can have. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon for more content. Thank you.